Hello again, beautiful people. This is Natalie Silver with Life Treasures and Golden Moments, where I share with you true stories of miracles and stories for inspiration. Today I'd like to share a story with you about life, and it's called Three Men and a Bridge, and it was authored by Sandy Snavely. The bridge had become a kind of good old friend to me when I first began crossing it every morning on my way to work. It was a signal that my long trip was nearly finished. But after a time, I began to focus instead on the people walking across the bridge. The Ross Island Bridge is one of the few bridges in Portland where walkers are as welcome as drivers. There was a young black man who I would pass by almost every morning. His intelligent and handsome face also seemed determined and driven. I started praying for him, for his day, and for his life. When we didn't meet on the bridge, I found myself deeply concerned for him. Now he's never there. I wonder where he is, how he is. Was he a student? Did he finish school? Did he become ill while forging through the wicked winter weather? Or did he simply buy a car and join the morning commute on wheels? Then there's this older man who is occasionally seen with a large metal cross hoisted over one shoulder, with a sign on his back that reads, Jesus saves sinner from hell. My stomach always churns when I see him. He's not as easy to pray for as my young black friend. Maybe it's because I'm not as bold in my faith as he. Maybe it's because, though his cross gives the appearance of being large and heavy to carry, it's actually supported by a small cart of wheels. There's just something about that picture that makes me uncomfortable. But the portrait that has found the deepest place in my memory is that of a homeless man and his dog. The man was unshaved and disheveled. He wore an old camouflage army jacket, trousers, and military boots. He had long hair, not yet turned in color by age. His backpack was heavily packed pulling his shoulders forward. Although this scene was not unusual for this area, I guess it was the dog that brought such love to the picture. He was a big, old, and obviously loyal black Labrador retriever. He carried a backpack also. He had two canvas pouches that were well balanced on each side of his chest. The man and his dog poignantly displayed the heart of true friendship, How many times in my own life had I longed to have my bundles of burdens so affectionately carried? My young black friend drew me to pray for him, for he was needy in spirit. The old man with the cross harshly illustrated the need for gentleness and authenticity when sharing my faith, but it was the homeless man and his dog who reminded me of the deep longing of every soul, the cry of every heart, to have one at your side whose love is so unconditional and uncompromising who refuses to cast blame or to judge the hows and whys of the burden, but instead come alongside and shoulder the load. There's a profound privilege in being both the burdened and burden-bearer, to be needy, and to be needed. As I continue my journeys through life, I know that will be many bridges yet to cross, whether forging ahead or just struggling with a friend to get to the other side. I will always treasure in my heart the lessons from three men and the bridge. As I may have shared with you before, it's just a little poem written by Helen Keller. It's called Beautiful Things. The best and most beautiful things in life cannot be seen or even touched. They must be felt with the heart. A beautiful poem by Helen Keller. This is Natalie Silver with Life Treasures and Golden Moments. Until next time, take care, God bless, and have a beautiful week.